Hello there, this is Jason from smashpop.net and uh, this is a review of the Panasonic Lumix GM1. So this is how it looks like, the Lumix GM1, one of the smallest mirrorless camera I've seen in the market currently and uh, it has interchangeable lens, as you can see I can remove the lens and put in another lens here and then uh, wait, let me, let me put it back first. Alright, it has a 3 inch touchscreen 16 megapixel sensor, uh, built-in Wi-Fi, it's one of the most amazing features on this camera. I'll actually show you how it works after this. And uh, what else? It has a built-in pop-up flash. And you can actually bounce the flash by pushing it to the back like that, right? So it's actually more natural when you bounce flash instead of just direct flash. Now let me keep the flash first. Alright, now as you can see, on top here we have a stereo microphone, left and right. This is the dial for you to change the focus mode. Uh, auto focus, manual focus, and continuous focus. Not sure if you can see it, but I hope you can. This is the on off button uh, plus the shutter. This is the dial that you can change the mode from, uh, say, aperture to shutter to manual to custom modes to um, program and to the auto mode and custom. Oh, I just mentioned that already. So the palette mode, which is you know what, I'll show you later. Now, uh, apart from that, at the back we have the playback button, the dial here for, um, for exposure, for focus mode, for white balance, for other features like uh, burst shot, timer, and this is actually the delete button and also works as the back button. This is the display button. Now, the front here, it looks very simple. It has this leather texture on the front. Oh, by the way, this is the orange color version. Uh, it comes in white, silver, orange, and black. Two rings here. Now, on the side here, we can see the HDMI port and also the the USB the USB port. I think it's too small. Lah. Okay, never mind. You get what I mean. So, yeah. This is the, the tripod screw thingy magic and this is where you put your sim card and your my sim card your memory card and also your battery this is how you move it it's very simple this is how you remove your memory card very simple as well all right now let's take a look at the interface so basically this is how it looks like uh, you have your controls indicator here you have your other feature uh, settings here you can also touch the screen to focus. You can even adjust how big is the focus area. Right? And uh, say I want this, I can just press here to set it as this. And then I can save some uh, functions on the left so I can actually access them easily. There's actually five functions that I can custom customize. Uh, to go to the settings, I just need to press this little button here in the middle. And then it goes to the settings. Um... As you can see here, there's the recording settings, motion picture settings, custom settings, setup settings, and playback settings. Now, there's one feature that I really want to show you. It's called silent mode here. So now, basically, uh, when you switch on silent mode, all your shutter sound will be switched off, your focusing sound will be switched off, your video playback sound will be switched off, so it's totally silent, as silent as Mr. Bean, you know, as what people say, Mr. Bean is very quiet because he doesn't really talk. So yeah, it's as quiet as Mr. Bean. And uh, apart from that, it has touch screen as well, so if you don't want to use the dial, you can actually press here, off, alright, and then uh, you can press here, and let me, let me go to the photos now, oh, that's my feet. You can actually swipe here, very simple, swipe to actually go from one photo to another. Oh, I think the video is a little bit bright. Let me darken the video a bit. Alright, now you can see clearer, right? Um, to zoom in, it's very simple, it's just like your phone. You can pinch to zoom, right? You can also double tap to zoom. Wow, look at the prawns. So yummy! Alright, basically that's my, uh, my lunch yesterday. Uh, it comes with... The kit lens, which is 12 to 32, yeah, it's 12 to 32. It's basically very wide, very nice kit lens. I love it because the photos taken using this kit lens is very sharp and the colors are very vibrant and natural at the same time. Now, of course, I didn't want to have just one lens, so I actually got another lens. 
this is the additional lens that I got. It's a pancake lens. People call it pancake lah because it looks like a pancake because it's you know thin and flat. Um, this one is 20 mm f 1.7. So this is also a very amazing lens. It takes pictures of say a human and then the background will be super blur. You can take a picture of your food and then the background will be super blur. So you can actually head on to my blog smashpop.net to actually check out the sample photos taken by this camera, by this lens and also by the kit lens. Now let me show you how the Wi-Fi works. Alright, so how do you actually connect your camera to your iPad or your phone? Basically, you just need to press this little button here, press and hold, and then you'll say, please wait. Why? Because it's actually activating Wi-Fi. Ta-da! Yes, you can see there's a blue light here that says Wi-Fi is on. Now head on to your iPad or your iOS phone or your, um, what do you call that, your Android phone. Go to settings. Then you can connect to the Wi-Fi from the camera. Basically, it says GM1 something 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 means it's your camera's Wi-Fi. After connected to it, you need to open the Panasonic app. It's called Image app. And then this app will actually connect to your camera. It will now locate your camera, da-da-da-da, locating, found your camera, and there you go. As you can see, I can actually view my uh, camera from my iPad or my phone, and I can actually set everything here. I can set ISO. I can set white balance, I can set uh, the focus mode, basically I can set everything that I can set on the camera now on my iPad and take a picture here now, let me take a picture now, let me focus here and then it's focusing and I press here to capture, tada, so it's captured. Now how do I actually view photos from the camera? Very simple, I just tap on this playback section and I can see all the photos taken using the camera basically photos from the memory card now in order to transfer the photos to my uh, devices very simple I just need to open oh, okay basically once you tap on the picture you can see the big version law but if you want to transfer one or two or three or four or five maximum ten photos at the same time you need to tap this picture a picture you need to tap this button and then you can select multiple photos right and then you can just press and hold and drag it to the side and now it's transferring now with pictures taken using this amazing camera transferred to your iPad it can only mean one thing that means all your photos now can be shared on Instagram on Facebook on Twitter on everywhere you want and they will look really amazing now you can really really see my uh, sample photos taken by this camera on my Instagram, basically all my Instagram photos are taken using the GM1 and they are really really amazing. Now as you can see, done! They have done transferring to my iPad, now I just need to go to my gallery and uh, let me show you what's in my gallery. There you go, I just transferred this photo, right? Remember this prawn, the yummy prawn and also this picture I took of this table, right? So it's very simple now, since the photos are already in my device, I can share it to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and everywhere I want. So that's how the Wi-Fi works, it's very simple. Now to switch it off, you need to press this again. Now it says terminate the connection. Not sure if you can read it because it's too bright. Man. I can read it for you. Like it says terminate the connection. I press here, terminate the Wi-Fi connection, yes. And it's terminated. Okay, so the connection between the camera and the, your device has already been cut off. So basically, uh, this is how it works. The GM1 with the kit lens. A very wide kit lens and uh, with a touch screen which is a capacitive touch screen just like your phone and uh, low light is really awesome because of the micro four third sensor it's a very big sensor so low light no problem no noise very sharp um, I really really like taking pictures with this camera I've never tried a camera this small that can actually produce amazing pictures like how I have on my blog post. You can see them on smashpop.net. Just search for GM1 or probably the latest post. I don't know, right? Just go there and find GM1 and you can at least see there are three blog posts on my, on my blog. Three blog posts on my blog, yeah. One is unboxing, one is first review and this will be the second review including this video that you're actually watching now. Okay, so that's it. It's about 2.5K in the market now. Uh, body plus the kit lens but if you really want to get it cheaper just go to a normal camera shop instead of the, you know the big ones and more established ones go to the normal ones you can probably get it at uh, one or two hundred cheaper all right so if you're looking for a small camera micro forte sensor with interchangeable lens and touchscreen and wi-fi to connect to your phone or wipe 
Wi-Pad. What the heck is Wi-Pad? To your phone, your iPad, your uh, tablet, or anything else that you, you know runs Android and iOS, you should definitely check this out. I love the orange one, but if you really want to stand out, you can probably get. Yeah, actually the most standout color is orange. I've already got it. So if you don't want to stand out, you can probably get the black one, the white one, or even the silver one, all right? So that's it. For more sample photos, where to go? It's on smashpop.net. And uh, that's it. See you. Bye.